In this problem, we're being asked to find the places where the function is zero or where the function is positive or negative. In this specific problem, uh, we're going to find where the function is zero and where it's negative. The places where a function is zero is where the y value on its graph is zero. And that's where it crosses the x-axis. These are the x-intercepts. So these are the two spots where the function, the value of the function is zero. So that's at negative 4 and at positive 4. So the values of x for which the function f of x equals 0 are negative 4 and positive 4. We call those the zeros of the function. C says for which values of x is f of x less than 0. So what that means is all the places where the function is down here in the negative part of the, the y values. So that interval would be, well, there's two of them. We'll have a union of intervals here uh, from the x value of negative 5. And that includes negative 5 because it's, uh, it's the function is, is negative at, um, at negative 5. And then up to, but not including 4, or negative 4, because at negative 4, the value is 0. But up to there. So that's the first part. That's this arm. And this arm here is from 4 to 5. So we'll put a union symbol here. In this one, the 4 is not included because that's where the function is 0. Uh, and then up to and including 5. So that is how to find um, locations or intervals where the, the function is either 0 or, in this case, where it's negative.